this is a wonderful, a wonderful thing. We can talk about victory in Christ. We can be thankful. Thanks be unto God, it told us in, uh, in 1 Corinthians 9, 15. Thanks be unto God for His unspeakable gift. The greatest gift that has ever been given is the gift of eternal life. I'm so glad on April 4th, 1969, there was two preachers that came to our home. 19310 Glenwood Lane, New Berlin, Wisconsin. And when they came to our home, uh, we sat down, and uh, one, of the, one of the preachers that was there was my pastor. And uh, uh, he probably told this other guy that uh, the Vargas ain't saved. I'd come to church and never carry the Bible. I'd fall asleep in church like some of you do. And, and uh, I didn't care, you know, it didn't mean nothing to me. But they came and everything changed on April 4th, 1969. 47 years ago in about seven months. What a wonderful day. What a day, the day I was born again. I was raised in a, in a Christian family. My mother and father were missionaries in the Assemblies of God Church. I was saved in a Methodist church, a free Methodist church, and I'm now a Baptist preacher. But I'm here to tell you it's not the Assemblies of God that will save you. It's not the Methodist that will save you. It's not the Baptist that will save you. It's Jesus that will save you. And the Bible says, Thanks be unto God uh, who giveth us the victory through Jesus Christ. Do you have the victory today? Do you have the victory over sin and death and hell? Do you know 100% for sure if you died that you'd go to heaven today? Oh, I hope so. I hope so. That's the most that's that's the most you you better get that settled. Because if you don't go to heaven, you go to hell. If you're not saved, you're lost. There's no in between. You say, Well, I well, I'll take my chances. You're taking the wrong chance. Because the Bible says there'll be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth forever and ever in the fires of hell. If that's what you want, that's what you'll choose. Do you want to choose heaven? You know, God's given us a choice, heaven or hell. God's given us a choice to live in our sin and love our sin or repent of our sin and say, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. The Bible says in Romans 10, 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thine heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Romans uh, 10, 9, and 10. And then in verse 10, 13, the Bible says, whosoever, that means anybody here, that means anybody here, anybody and everybody, anybody here, if you'll call upon the name of the Lord, you can be, some of you need to be saved today. Oh, wouldn't it be wonderful? You'd be able to be thankful for the rest of your life and you'd be able to be thankful for eternity that you've been saved today if you're not saved. Won't it be sad? All you'll have if you stay lost and die, you don't know. They're still, if they, uh, Joanne, they still got the memorial out Front yeah, Paul. Yes, it is. Paul got hit in a, by, on his bike out here in front of the church. Yes. A car smacked him. He flew about 20 feet up in the air and come down and went through the windshield. Big man. And uh, they kept him on a uh, they kept him on a respirator for about a week and a little, bit over. And, and a little over a week and he, and he died. I hope he went to heaven. Paul uh, Joanne knew him better and uh, he was. What I know, he's kind of indifferent, like a lot of you are. And uh, he never talked to me much about the Bible. He didn't seem to have much interest in the Bible. I don't know. Joanne knew him better than I did. But he didn't. He really wasn't what I'd call on fire for God. I, I think I, the only thing I know is when I got saved, I got excited about it. Amen. Are you excited about Jesus? Does he mean anything to you? Yes. Or is it same old, same old, same old drinking, same old shacking up, same old lying? Same old stealing, same old all this mess. It's the same old thing. Same old, same old. I hope that's not it is with you because true salvation should be a, a changed life. Old things pass away. Behold, all things. Have you ever had a transformed life? It might be that you're not saved. You need to be transformed so you can be thankful. Thanks be unto God, like it says here uh, in, uh, in 1 Corinthians uh, 15. Thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh my, death will lose its sting. It says, O oh death, where is thy sting? O oh grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin. You see, it's because of sin. How many sinners we got in here besides me? 
Aren't you sinners? The sting of the, the the sting of death is sin. Yeah, Rodney, you too, everybody, everybody. Yeah, the sting of death is sin, and uh, but you can but you can't overcome sin. But Christ has overcome sin by the shedding of His blood on Calvary's cross and His His resurrection from the grave. That's the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ. I hope you're saved today. If you're not, you need to be. If you're not saved, you need to be saved. Now I'm telling you, uh, this is this is what has to be. And this this whole thing we've done, this wonderful meal uh, that my wife and Doris and, and others and Roger and other helpers and my family are working on here and preparing right now, we're going to be sitting down to eat that meal in uh, in just just a few moments actually. And we're, we're, we're so glad that you're here. But this is, this is, it's all about Thanksgiving Day, but it's all about thanks be unto God for His unspeakable gift. That's what it's all about. We're all about Jesus Christ. We're all about going to heaven. Yes, we have a special feed bag on on Thanksgiving Day, and it's like when I said the last, the last few days that it's going to be like... Uh, uh, when we go to Grandma's house in the in the in the sleigh, you know, uh, pulled by the horses and and over the river and and through the woods to Grandmother's house we go, and that's the kind of Thanksgiving you're gonna you gonna smell it. Doesn't it smell good? Woo, we're gonna be tasting that in just a few minutes. But dear one, enjoy the meal. Be a thankful person. But you don't have much to be thankful about if you're going to hell, huh? You don't have much to think about if, if you have no future but dying and going to hell. You can have, how can you be thankful? But you can be thankful for the unspeakable gift of Jesus Christ. I'm thankful for the unspeakable gift of Jesus Christ. Are you? I hope you are. How many of you know you're saved and going to heaven? All right, that's good. A bunch of you. Now, some of you couldn't raise your hand. I hope you'll get saved today. And I hope we that are saved would learn to be a more thankful person. That we could be thankful for our home in heaven. That the only thing that really matters is we're going to heaven. What else matters? And then how we serve God once we're here. How we serve God uh, after we're saved. That gets to be how we're going to live in heaven. What we're going to have. What, what our... What our Capacity. Some of us will just be saved as by fire. It means that we don't do much for God. We don't tell others about Jesus. We still live a worldly life and and uh, can't hardly tell you're a Christian. You're no different than the lost friends you have. And by the way, that's a pathetic life to live. That's a sorry life to live. And and you're crushed and your conscience bothers you and. Every time you walk out of the bar, you're bothered about it, and, and on and on and on and on. Be a thankful Christian. Get back to God, you that have sin in your life. We all have sin, some sin in our life, amen? 1 John 1, 8 says, If we say that we have no sin, we lie, and the truth is not in us. But 1 John 1, 9 says, if we confess our sins, that's to Christians, He'll forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So dear friend, if you're not saved, why don't you do it today? Let this be your day. Wouldn't it be wonderful to remember it was Thanksgiving Day, easy to remember, Thanksgiving Day 2016, 501 Ridgewood Avenue, Daytona Rescue Mission. I gave my heart to Christ. There's, there's a number of people that have been saved here at this rescue mission. How many of you have been saved here at the mission? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. You've been saved here at the mission. A number of people have been saved here at the mission. In, uh, old mission. Well, that's still the mission, yeah. We're 25. And uh, some were saved here, some over there. And, and uh, but you've been saved. Many of you raise your hand. I'm glad. It doesn't matter where you're saved, but it matters that you're saved. Amen. God does the saving. A preacher like me will do the preaching or someone will witness to you. But God does the saving. Isn't that a wonderful thing? 
I hope you're saved today. We're going to have the sinner's prayer now. And if you're not saved, if there's anything talking to your heart right now, and there's anything in your heart that is, that is telling you that you need to be saved, I would act upon it. That's the Holy Spirit of God calling you and convicting you. You must make the choice. God doesn't force himself on anybody. God doesn't force himself on anybody. You must make the choice yourself. The Bible says God's not willing that any should perish, but that all, everybody, God wants everybody to be saved. If you go to hell and don't get saved, that's on your part, not on God's part. I've done my part as a, as a preacher. I prayed yesterday, <clears throat> late into the night. Holy Spirit of God, speak to hearts there today that there will be some that would trust the Lord Jesus Christ and be born again today. And I hope that's you today. Let us pray. And Lord, we thank you for the precious Word of God. And we know that all the angels in heaven rejoice over one sinner that repenteth. Moreover, ninety and nine just people that need no repentance. Lord, we're so thankful that we can be saved and know it. Lord, we're thankful that it's a free gift, that you've made it so easy. There's nothing at all difficult about salvation. It's just admitting that we're sinners, which we all are, repenting of it, turning from it, knowing we can't save ourselves, but Jesus can save us because he shed his blood on Calvary's cross. He rose from the grave the third day. But all we need to do is with an honest heart say, Lord, be merciful to me, a sinner, and save me. It happens just like that. Praise God. You say, Pastor, I need to be saved. Heads are bowed, eyes are closed. No one's looking around, just a preacher. You say, Pastor, I'm not sure I'm going to heaven. I want you to pray for me that I could be saved. I'm not sure I'm saved and going to heaven. Just slip your hand up. Let me see your hand. Just slip it up all over. Slip it up. Slip it up high. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, there are others. Say, would you pray for me, Pastor? I'm not sure I'm saved. Just slip your hand up. There's a number of people have already. Wouldn't you be included? Yes, that, that's good. Anyone else want to be included in this prayer? That, that won't be too hard, would you? It you, wouldn't hurt to be prayed for, would it? I mean, it ain't going to hurt. If, if you feel that there's some call of God on your life, if you feel there's some call of God on your life, just slip your hand up and say, pray for me too, Pastor. Would, did you want me to pray for you? Just slip your hand up if you're concerned about it. Wouldn't hurt to be prayed for, would it? I don't think so. Anyone else? God bless you. God bless you. Yes, others are raising their hand. Is anyone else? Yes, God bless you, sir. And in the back, thank you. All right. We're going to pray for these. There's a bunch. Lord, thank you for these precious souls. God's not willing that any should perish but that all should come to repentance. What a wonderful thing. What a wonderful thing. God's not willing any should perish. Dear one, I'm praying for you that you'll be saved today. All you have to do is confess with your mouth and believe in your heart and trust in Christ and accept the free gift of eternal life. Call upon the name of the Lord. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'm going to pray that sinner's prayer. Dear one, if God's speaking to you, don't turn him away. Receive the gift. He's not willing you should perish, but you must accept. You must turn from your sin. You must call upon him. I'm going to pray out loud. You pray in your heart. And with an honest heart, just pray this prayer. I'm going to pray it aloud. You follow and pray in your heart silently. This is the prayer. Dear Lord Jesus, I believe you died for me and shed your precious blood on Calvary's cross and rose from the grave the third day. The best I know how, with an honest heart, I turn from my sins, receive you as my Savior. Thank you for saving me right now. Our heads are bowed, our eyes are closed. You say, Pastor, I prayed that prayer with you in my heart. I meant it and I prayed it in my heart. Would you raise your hand? Say, I prayed it, meant it in my heart. Let me see your hands. Raise them up high. Raise your hands up high. Raise your hands up high. Raise them up high. Keep them up. Keep them up. There's 12 people raise their hand. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for each of these 12. I pray, dear Lord, that you would seal their decision. 
as they've indicated by the uplifted hand that they've trusted Christ. Dear Lord, you said that your spirit, the blessed Holy Spirit, would bear witness with their spirit that they're a child of God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Glory to God. The angels in heaven rejoice over one sinner that repented. We had 12 today. Praise God. What a wonderful day. Bless these dear ones. Bless we that are saved, that we would learn to be more thankful and that we would serve you better. Thank you for this Thanksgiving day. Thank you for the food. Thank you for all of the work that was done, especially my dear wife, Barbara. She put so much into this. Thank you for Doris. Thank you for my family. Thank you for Roger. Thank you for Philip. Thank you for Pat. Thank you for any others that were involved in this. Bless our fellowship around the table in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Amen.